There's nothing worse than when something bad happens and the wrong people get the blame for it. Unfortunately, a young man lost his life a few days ago at carnival. And as per usual, it's not the perpetrators that get the blame for it. It's the police's fault. They let it happen. Like, the police are in control of a man bringing a knife or a gun out on the street and doing this and doing that. See, people always love to blame the wrong people and that. But it's not just the police that come under attack when other individuals that have their own brain, their own conscious goes out and stab and shoot and kill people and that. I've been seeing it for months and I'm going to talk on this right now. Another person that gets the blame for young people going out and killing each other in London is Sadiq Khan, you know. And I know why. It's not because he may be or may not be a shit mayor of London. That's not my opinion and that. That's just what people say and that. It's the colour of his skin, you know. It's because he's an ethnic minority. It's because he's an Asian man, you know. You know, I go through these comment sections on Facebook and all these Instagram posts and that. Particularly Facebook. Because there's a lot of white racist people on Facebook. And when they're talking about stabbings and shootings in London and the murder rate and all the assault rates and all them things there. When it comes to London and that, the first and most uh, frequently mentioned name under these comment sections and that is Sadiq Khan. It's like, blood, it's not the man's fault, you know, that people are going out and killing people and that. Yeah, he's there to obviously make sure the police are in place to try and prevent this stuff and that. But they can't be everywhere at once. They ain't, got, they ain't got enough manpower. I know they ain't got enough manpower. In Northampton, you know, obviously man live up in Northampton, innit? And you don't see much police around, trust me. When I come back to the ends and I'm driving, when I say the ends, I mean Edmonton, and Tottenham, Wood Green. That's kind of my perimeter and that. When I'm driving, well, riding my motorbike, I like to go for rides and that. When I'm riding around Edmonton, Tottenham and Wood Green and that, the amount of police I see, especially after school, the amount of police I see, I think to myself, the police are fucking stretched. Like, they ain't getting paid enough. Trust me, they have a tough time in London, you know. I never noticed it. I never noticed it until I moved up there. When I'm riding around, especially after school on a Friday or whatever, innit? Yeah, the amount of police that's about, like, even, like, outside Howard School and Silver Street and that. Bear police, blood. Wood Green Tops, where the Hollywood cinema is. Bear police there. Outside um, the McDonald's, Wood Green, um, Tottenham High Road, McDonald's with Bruce Grove meets Tottenham High Road and that. Bear police, blood. They're stretched and that. Trust me, these police around here, they ain't got, they got, they got life on easy mode and that. I know they got life on easy mode. I see them sitting around with like, you know them in their mobile speed camera things. You, you don't even know about these mobile speed cameras. It's a, it's a, a, a police van that has a camera in it. And they basically, uh, it's a, basically like a mobile speed camera. The police have got time to be sitting around. I see them sitting around on the side of the carriage wearing that with their speed guns and that. The police have got life on easy mode up here. They're on a joke thing, blood. They, 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 their life is easy up here. The police down in London, they're stretched and that. And then Sadiq Khan gets the blame because there's not enough police on the street and that. Nah, the people them that need to be blamed is the perpetrators and that. Sadiq Khan is not telling people to go out on the roadside and stab man. The police are not telling man to go out on the roadside and stab man. The only benefit from that is that the police have a fucking job. It keeps them busy. There ain't enough police about. But Sadiq Khan gets the blame for it because he's an ethnic minority. I'm telling you, change the variable. Change, put a different man in his shoes. And I'm telling you, if that was a white man in Sadiq Khan's shoes, certain of those messages there that are talking about, oh, he's a shit. M, uh, mayor of London and that they would disappear they wouldn't exist and most of the people that are talking about ah oh, um, Sadiq Khan's a shit mayor of London and that he needs to do more to um, help the streets of London whatever in yeah, these are white people that don't even live in London man check their profiles and that man live up in Leeds and Rochester and all these kind of places and that man don't live in London and that but man are just talking because man don't want a man of ethnic minority to be in leadership and that God forbid the next prime minister is a black man of England, yeah? You see some uproar in the comment section of Facebook and that. It's not Sadiq Khan's fault why young black people are going out and stabbing people, yeah? It's their fault, yeah? They need to be blamed for it.
Man are talking about Sadiq Khan needs to ban Notting Hill Carnival for the foreseeable future. That's how I know there's an agenda under the comment section of these Facebook and Instagram posts and that. Like to say, if Sadiq Khan was to ban Notting Hill Carnival for the foreseeable future, that's going to stop all the stabbings and shootings and that. The stabbings and shootings and that are going to occur regardless of whether Notting Hill Carnival takes place or not. The people them are racist. That's why they want Notting Hill Carnival banned. There's racist white people that sit at home when they see Notting Hill Carnival taking place and that, and they see clusters and clusters of black people and ethnic minorities and that. They, uh, they, 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 they get like a nasty taste in their, in their mouth and that. They're disgusted with it. They don't want clusters of black people and ethnic minorities enjoying themselves. And they're not fucking from London. They're from Hull and all these other places and that. They can't stand London and that. Why do you care about what happens at Notting Hill Carnival? Obviously, you don't want to be watching your TV and hear about people getting killed and that. But regardless of people who are getting killed and that, they don't want Notting Hill Carnival to take place and that. They don't want clusters of black people um, enjoying themselves and that. The people them are racist. They're not even from London. I know the people them are racist. Majority of the people them, they even showed it on national TV. The majority of the people them that voted for Brexit are people that don't even reside in London. That don't even reside in the place where there's the most ethnic minorities in that. They reside in the north of England. Where them EDL people, they, wherever their ass cut bases and that. They're racist and that. These people are not even around that much ethnic minorities and that. But yet still, they want, they want Brexit to happen. And now, they're feeling a the brunt of it. So Deke Khan is not to blame for the Ross Clark uh, rising in, in gun crime and all, all them things there. It's the people them doing it. It's their fault. Telling you, if Sadiq Khan was a white man, he, yeah, he, whether he's doing a shit job or not, like, that's the thing. How Sadiq Khan getting the blame and, and, and feeling the brunt of all of these stabbings and shootings and crime that takes place in London and that when there's a man that's above him what why 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 are people not putting um Boris Johnson in the fight in the fiery line as much as Sadiq Khan and that he has the most power in the country furthermore a man is based in London I see a post on Instagram the other day talking about and I was shocked my man lives in Camberwell block five my brother my man lives in between, he's got a property in between Peckham and, and, and Brixton. I'm like, whoa, there must be some hidden posh gems in a, in a block five because I was shocked. I expected him to live like somewhere on the borders of Islington and central London or somewhere, innit? But yeah, it is what it is, innit? Um, but yeah, why is Boris Johnson not the one that's in the firing line as much as Sadiq Khan, if not more? He's the one that's running the fucking country. The man in my race is in it. The man in my race is. If Sadiq Khan was a white man, his name wouldn't get called in the same way. They don't want an ethnic minority running the capital of the country, let alone the Ras Clark whole entire country. Stay where it's done, though.